and I actually wanted to talk about Christian Guzman. One ninety-seven. I'm one hundred and ninety-seven pounds. What is going on? Look, look at that. One ninety-seven. It's time to uh, probably bring down the carbs. And start early, making sure that uh, I'm losing some weight. So for me, one of the places that I really, really find a lot of success in. The reason why I weigh so much, even if I'm losing fat, is my legs. Let me show you. This is something very interesting about myself because you might not even understand it. My legs are so much, like they gain so much, when I'm just training a bunch, they just gain so much thickness and volume. That's why That's why it's uh, the same thing. Just like one freaking 97. I'm gonna talk to my coach, um, check in with him. Let's see if I can get down to, it's tricky because I've, I've never competed before, but I think for me personally, I'll be on, st on stage at 185. Like honestly, I think 12 pounds now is what I'm gonna be on stage. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are in the comment section, but I really do think it's gonna be like 12 pounds. So I just got um, some lipos, I cannot really say it sometimes. Liposomal vitamin C, which is the easiest to digest. It's the best for you and there's no shit in here, which is really, really good. And so I put it in my creatine HCL and also my greens juice, which is really cool. Um, and look at it. It's just like, it looks like a gooey mess, but it's really, honestly, you don't taste it at all. You don't taste it at all. And to be honest, it's really, really good for, for recovery, for your skin, for your memory, everything, especially for your, um, what's the thing? <laughs> I'm going blank. I'm literally going blank. What's it, what's it called when, when you get sick? Your immune system. <laughs> we also have, before I train, just a quick meal. This is some chicken, quinoa, like, is it wild rice? Yeah, quinoa wild rice. It's really, really good. It's kind of funny because I actually never talk about the businesses that I own and what I create, but I might as well show you one of the things that I'm, I'm building right now for this business called Sculpt You. It's a really big business, it's awesome. Um, two really cool influencers that I work with, they actually live here in Denver, Colorado. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna actually show you some of the designs. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. But um, basically, let me show you. So shirt ideas. These are some shirts that we are developing that are really, really cool, they're really exciting. So the way, so the way it happens is you kind of, they drew something up, they put something together right here, as you can see, and then you have like examples of, of kind of what they're looking for um, that they would really, really like. This one right here, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan. Although I don't, in my opinion, it doesn't matter too much as a, it's a, it's a women's brand and um, clothing is, is one of those things that I do not deal with. But yeah, just showing you a, a little bit of example. I'm actually working on a, on a massive project, like absolutely massive here in Denver, Colorado that I'll be sharing with everyone soon. It's a whole process. I'm just gonna give you like a little in, inside scoop, but I'm building something here in Denver, Colorado. I'm building. So that'll be coming out hopefully in six months. I'm, I'm pretty excited. But for now, I'm gonna go work out. My video guy, he's throwing up everywhere right now, so he's not gonna be able to come, Taylor. But what I will do is kind of just set the camera down so you can see what I'm doing and, and watch the movements and everything so maybe you can pull some some attraction into your own training and stuff. And Make sure you screenshot these workouts. They're, they really are that good. And then after I work out, I'm gonna talk about something, something very, very important that I think everyone should talk about. Actually, that I wanna talk about.
Cool. All right. Let's go. Driving somewhere in your car. We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars. Under the stars. Came in the door I got a package now this is something that I've been working on it excited me because I started taking it a while ago this is extremely urgent look at, look at FedEx it said it says extremely urgent yes so I've been working really really hard on some product and um, it's not easy to make I'll tell you that much and especially to get the right sourcing it can be extremely extremely difficult so we got ourselves, let's see how much this is. This is a good amount of stuff, honestly. I don't wanna, I don't wanna disclose it just yet, but <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. We're gonna test it out today. We're gonna see like the quality of it. Like the main thing with like products, um, when, any, when anyone is releasing a supplement or a product or anything, the sourcing is so important and also testing it. Like, Test it with yourself, test it with friends, and then also make sure, make sure, make sure 
all the panels are ran and all the certifications, everything is behind the product because if you get a shit product and you sell that and someone gets hurt, gets sick, whatever it is, you are fucked. And that's the truth of it. That's the truth. I've sold supplements so many times before and there's so many quality checks that go behind it. And, and also taste, like that's also a big thing. For me, with my products, I don't like to have too much taste because I know that there's a lot of more sweeteners and shit in there and I don't believe in sweeteners. Whatever science says about artificial sweeteners or not, um, I don't like them. I don't drink them at all. I don't drink soda or anything like that. So yeah. So I'm gonna be eating right now, eight ounces of bison, one and a half cups of rice, and six ounces of asparagus. I kind of go super, super simple. All you do is you put it in here. You only need to put it in for two minutes, but I put it in for four minutes. I always like to make sure that it's well done, baby. Anyways, while that cooks, um, I want to talk about something. I definitely want to talk about something. So, I never really, I never really open up about this stuff, and and I, I talk about on on podcasts. I, I have my podcast now, which I'm talking a little bit more. And, and going in depth about certain questions and stuff, but I actually wanted to make this in a YouTube video. And I actually wanted to talk about Christian Guzman. And Christian, if you're watching this or, or if you've heard about this, whatever, um, shout out to you. Uh, I've actually gained a lot of inspiration from what you do and, and how you've conducted yourself over the years. And I've always been kind of one of those guys that's like jealous or, um, not, not really jealous, but more so arrogant in ways where if someone else is doing better than me or someone else is doing really well in their space, I kind of, it bothered me and it made me hustle harder and, and that word bother, that, that's the one that I wanted to really tap onto because it, it, it doesn't serve me and it, like if you're someone that's very similar, it doesn't serve you. And actually it's a representation of an insecurity. And for me, for the longest time, it was an insecurity. And these people around me, I, I, I wouldn't follow them because if they didn't follow me or um, like I didn't want them to think that they were better than me or anything like that, again, that's an insecurity. And now I, I wanna talk about this because I'm over that stuff and that was the old me. And uh, I, I've made leaps and bounds in my own transformation, both, both physically and mentally, especially during this prep. And so I just wanna say like what Christian has done with Alphalete, what he's done with 3D, what he's done with uh, now to release a distribution center and all this stuff, like, fucking bravo. That That is not easy, especially running a business. I actually was uh, driving with my videographer a couple days ago and he was like, dude, you know who you're just like? Christian Guzman, and I was like, what? He said, yeah, it, the, the inspiration that you bring, the motivation, the hard work you bring, and also the business mindset. I own eight businesses, and you guys probably have no clue about that, but I do. <laughs> and I'm building businesses more and more, and I'm partnering with more and more influencers as, it, as we go, and I have 15 people on my team, like 15 people. It's exhausting, and it hit me yesterday, and it made me realize, like, I'm not alone, and not only am I not alone, but there's other people doing it that are being very, very, very fluid with it and successful, but also going through the, the, the hardships like I do. It's tough. Being an entrepreneur like on this scale is fucking tough. I'm not talking about just a, a company or two that's making six figures. I'm talking about eight companies that are like successful. And so, this is just this is just something to to create in this in this series in this prep. One to give a shout out to Christian and what he's done over there, but also to get, gain inspiration for you or or motivation or whatever it is from this talk, so that you know that when it is getting tough, it's not supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be anything but that. You are always in the right position. You're always in the perfect spot whether you're sick, whether you're injured, whether you are building a business and it crashes, whatever it is, you're in the perfect spot. I've learned so much over the years and gained so much knowledge and experience from all the failures and from all the mistakes. And if it weren't for, for all that I've done and my food's done, I wouldn't be anywhere where I am today. I mean, 
I have a huge project project that I'm about to release here in like six months. That's that's something that is flying way under the radar. No one has any clue about. But I have big, big plans here in Denver, Colorado. And that way used to be a dream. This stuff used to be a dream. I mean, look, just for one second, look where I live. Look at this podcast. Look at this. Look, this is insane. I have downtown right here, I have the train station that goes out to the, the mountains. I have the mountains in the background over there. I have the mountains all the way in the background over there. Um, I have Whole Foods right below me. I, I'm living a life that I 100% deserve, number one. Number two, that I've earned. And number three, that honestly, I never thought I would be living in this capacity, in this way. I really never thought of it. Never even came to my mind. So if you're struggling out there, just know shit's coming, baby. And you gotta, you gotta trust yourself and know that it's gonna come. Just trust yourself and keep rolling through. I became a good boxer because I wanted to become a good boxer. I started learning guitar because I wanted to learn guitar. I started DJing because I, I, I really wanted to be a DJ. I go out and dance all the time because I love to dance. It's all about your want. And if your want is strong enough, and it mats your, meets your passion and matches your passion, the future's bright and it'll always be bright. Remember that. So as I continue on this prep, just stay tuned because I'm gonna get leaner and leaner and I'm gonna be showing more of my day and I wanna show you more of what I'm doing during the day to really make sure that my prep is, is the best that it can be. And then I want to grow and grow and grow after I compete the first time. And so this is gonna be a continued series. I wanna show you from A to Z, how I go from body weight to bodybuilding in a whole different fashion, men's physique. So thanks for tuning in for this uh, episode or day or workout of body weight to bodybuilding. I'm in like two weeks and one day into my prep. So that, it's a good amount of time, but, but not really at all. I've never counted my calories, I've never counted my macros, I've never structured my workout programs like this. In, in the bodybuilding fashion where I'm targeting specific muscles and I need to grow here, here, here. And I've never posed in front of a fucking mirror. And I say it like fucking because it's, it's so awkward to me, it's so uncomfortable, but now I'm getting the hang of it and I'm starting to learn the flow of it and I'm going to sure get a lot better. So thanks for tuning in for another episode. Comment down below if you enjoyed uh, this episode, if this workout was great for you, definitely check it out. Like it, it's really, really, really hard. High volume today. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Peace.